Greta Fine comes up with Briar Hill and Dan Pell with Like a West in the last to move up. And they're all set for the first event. 270, the favourite is number four, Briar Hill. Money up to the boxes, ready race one. They're racing. Briar Hill missed the start. Winning it was Keto's Bell with Gratified and Miss Too Cool and swamping them like a Western on the outside. Out of the straight, Miss Too Cool holds the inside running. It's a half length in front of like a Western. Two lanes third, Keto's Bell followed by Alison Ashley and Briar Hill saving Gradle on the fence. A length to Ampel followed by Royal Wings and three last is Gratified. At the top turn, Miss Too Cool a half length in front like a Western sticking on followed by Briar Hill out wide from Alison Ashley and Keto's Bell. In the straight, Miss Too Cool in front like a Western. Briar Hill swamping them and Briar Hill gets up to win. Briar Hill first, second, Miss Too Cool, third, like a Western, followed by Alison Ashley and Ampel. Keto's Bell and back at the rear of the field were Royal Wings and last of all was gratified. All right, let's have a look at the Newcastle updated market in the uh, second race. 33 is Diamond Ale. Humara Nob Nobby is at 7 to 1. Tens each of two pay as you go 1 1 2. Yeah, and yeah. our race one at Mooney Valley. Bon Marsh towards the fence has got away pretty well as we take it to Brian. Out wide, Highway Prospect shows early speed, but Delvin's best on its inside leads it early. Bon Marche gets to third, fourth on the outside, Perfect Ace, and Clever Prince is out three wide early. Eight metres away, it's Elliot, followed by Imperial Atom on the rail. I'm allowed and races a little bit deep early, followed in the centre by Kentucky George. Second last is JC, and Graham T dropped out to last. Highway Prospect on the outside is the one tackling Delvin's best for the early lead down the straight at the 1800 and succeeds. Clever Prince is the widest runner travelling around the outside now drawing up into second placing so Perfect Ace has the cover fourth. On its back in turn it's Elliot on the rail Bon Marche followed by Imperial Atom who settles down four back on the rail. From last now, Graham T. He pulls to the outside three wide, followed by Kentucky George. Second last is JC, and I'm allowed on the outside as last. Out of the straight, they race inside the 1700. The leader, Highway Prospect, by a metre and a half to Clever Prince. It's Elliot now pulls out three wide, heading towards the lap and a half mark. On the fence is Delvin's best. Two metres to perfect ace in the centre. Around it, Graham T. On the rail, Bon Marche, followed by Kentucky George. Eight metres to Imperial Adam, who's third last on the inside of I'm Loudon and six metres away JC. It's Elliot on the outside continues to make ground. He's tackling Highway Prospect for the lead and down the side before the turn at the 1100 metres. It's Elliot rolled to the lead now by six metres to Highway Prospect. Off the track still is Graham T doing it the hard way. Then Clever Prince in the centre. Delvin's best on the rail. Perfect Ace has had a pretty good run. Trailed up by Kentucky George then Bon Marche. Imperial Atom he's travelling well within himself he's racing five back on the rail and third last. On his outside is Ima Loudon and four metres to JC. They've got a lap to go inside the 850. The leader, it's Elliot. Almost two metres. Graham T's worked pretty hard on the outside. Third highway prospect. Fourth on the outside, Clever Prince. He's being hard driven, followed by Delvin's best. Perfect ace now pulls to the outside. Three wide, trailed up by Kentucky George. On the rail, Bon Marche. Imperial at angles. One off the fence. He's third last. On his inside is JC. And three wide is Ima Loudon, but down the back at the 550. It's Elliot still in front. He's got a handy break of five metres. On the outside, Graham T. He's under pressure. He can't go on. Followed by Highway Prospect. Kentucky George now pulls to the outside. He's running home. Being trailed up in turn by Imperial Adam. On the rail is Delvin's best. I'm allowed and pulls out. Clever Prince is gone. Followed by Bon Marche, JC. And Perfect Ace is dropping out on the home turn at the 200. It's Elliot three metres in front of Highway Prospect. In behind them, Kentucky George. Now in Imperial Adam is seeing daylight. He's absolutely winding up. He's coming home to the one Imperial Adam. Brother, have a look at him go. Imperial Adam, he raced up on the outside. Has this been a drive by Andrew Peace? We miss you at Mooney Valley, brother. And Imperial Adam has got there two metres to Kentucky George. Third, it's Elliot. Then Highway Prospect. JC in behind them, followed by I'm allowed and Graham T. Then Bon Marche. Second last in was Delvin's best. Last in was Clever Prince. And just walking over the line, tailed off as perfect nice. Well, 9, 11 and 10 there on the first race at Moody Valley. Imperial Atom over number 11, which was Kentucky George. And uh, number... Ready? There's the light, they're off and running in the second event and on the inside, Diamond Dale got out pretty well. 1-1-2 can't go the early speed, tearing across from out deep. Fossica's trick, trying to go with it. Peppy Dillon at the post the first time. Carnaby had over away smartly. Loophole in the centre looking for a trailing position on the turn out of the straight court. Very wide. Pay as you go is also out deep. Rogers Ranjet drops to the tail and Meadow Raider is second last. 
Heading into the back straight the first time. Peppy Dillon takes up the role of pacemaker. Scooted away to lead by a length and a half on Fossica's trick. Two lengths away in third spot is Diamond Dale, followed by Humara Nobby going forward on the outside. A length further back then to 1-1-2. One, one, Carnaby Hanover's caught out three wide, so he decides to go forward. Pushing through on the inside is Meadow Raider. Pay as you go drops back to be third last. Rogers Ramjet second last. Loophole last, but caught three wide. Heading on towards the top corner with about 1,300 metres left to travel and Peppy Dillon is the leader. A length and a half clear in second spot is Fossica's trick over on the inside of Humara Nobby. About two lengths away to Meadow Raider. He still can't get in on Carnaby Hanover. Diamond Dale keeps it out three wide and Loophole is right behind it as they turn the corner. Followed by 1-1-2 Rogers Ram Jet and Pay As You Go is at the tail of the field. Coming down for the bell. One circuit left to go and Darren McCall has his former Kiwi. Peppy Dillon stepping along nicely in the lead. A length and a half clear of Humara Nobby moving up on the outside. Over on the fence running third is Fossica's trick. Carnaby Hanover still three wide pressing on. Diamond Dale the centre. Meadow Raider is on the fence and then Rogers Ramjet. 1-1-2 one, one, is next on the outside. Loophole has been three wide from the start and Pay As You Go is at the tail of the field. Into the final circuit now. They've got 750 metres left to run and little Peppy Dillon is still the leader. About a length in front of Humara Nobby on a loose rein on the outside of Fossica's trick. A length further back, Meadow Raider. Loophole set off around the outside quickly with a big run. Followed further back by 1-1-2. Carnaby Hanover is called to the night. They were followed by Pay As You Go and driving back to the tail is Diamond Dale. Heading inside the 400 metre mark now. And the leader, Peppy Dillon, tackled by Loophole. A length and a half, Fossica's trick. 1-1-2 one, one, is coming into it nicely. Followed further back by Pay As You Go and then Meadow Raider. Yamara Nobby dropping out and then Rogers Ramjet. And a minute to Carnaby Hanover as they straighten up. Loophole took the lead. Loophole on the outside just in front of Peppy Dillon. And oh, 1-1-2 one, one, on the outside. Joining in with a big run. 1-1-2 one, one, has raced up to hit the lead with 100 metres left to go. Pay As You Go trying to fight back down the outside but 112 he's old enough to vote and he's going to get in 112 scored for Jason Proctor by about a half length to Fossica's trick tight third loophole or pay as you go and then Peppy Dillon Meadow Raider followed by Rogers Ramjet then Humara Nobby a long way back Carnaby Hanover and Diamond Dale was last in all right four eight and five there on and one dollar twenty five is the favorite Lights on, racing, wild about Harry on the fence, Fury's Law, Triple Queen and Fury's Finito all came out quickly. Call Me Sue began well and Abel O'Bell from out wide was showing some speed after the start. Triple Queen split them and ran to the lead at the end of the first 200 metres. Wild about Harry second, Fury's Law third and Fury's Finito's out three deep in the middle of the circle the first time. A length away is Abel O'Bell planted four wide. Then Kira's son and Call Me Sue fighting Fury second last and showstopper last as they round the bend at the 1200 metres peg. First quarter of the mile 28.6 and Triple Queen's the leader at the judge around out Triple Queen a half in front Abel O'Bell's been three deep and strides up to second Fury's Finito third about to get cover behind Abel O'Bell wild about Harry's on the rail a length away Fury's Law and then fighting Fury moving through on the fence Call Me Sue's three deep on the outside of Kira's son and showstopper is two lengths away at the rear Triple Queen the leader at the tea tree 750 out 30.3 second section triple queen ahead in front of Abel O'Bell a length and a half to Fury's Finito wonder wild about Harry call me Sue still three deep Fury's law in the center show stoppers out very wide rushing forward from fighting Fury and Kira's son had dropped out to the tail of packing field 450 out triple queen about to be joined by showstopper out in the boondocks Abel O'Bell still there in the center Fury's Finito under pressure then wild about Harry Fury's law and call me Sue showstoppers out in the center of the track and getting wider he won't answer the helm coming around the bend Abel Lobel got to the front from Fury's Finito and showstopper coming down the outside Abel Lobel in the on the fence Fury's Finito in the center showstopper on the outside he's doing the best he's under the judges box but he's won showstoppers won the money Fury's Finito second third might be wild about Harry from Abel Lobel then call me Sue, Fighting Fury, Triple Queen, Fury's Law, and Kira's son at the rear. All right. Uh... <laughs> Hi, 
is the Australia Hotel in Richmond, and I'm John Barker. We serve the best and coldest beer in Melbourne. You can catch all the racing here, courteous of Sky Channel. Drop in and join us for Coley. Australia Hotel, 194 Bridge Road in Richmond. Still a developed print for third at uh, Albion Park there, boxing them now Penrith. Up. And they're all set. Ready for start race two, bunny up to the boxes. Just a dance of the favourite. Set, they're racing, coming up with a lead, just a dancer, and winning the start easily was deposed. It raced straight to the front, it's two lengths clear from top victory, second, three third was Claber King, followed by just a dancer, Raindrop Kid has the inside from Reader's World, second last silent enemy, and last of all, Pug for me. To the back straight, it's deposed, a length and a half in front, closing top victory, likewise just a dancer, two Claber King and three Raindrop Kid from Reader's World and a silent enemy, last of all, was Pug for me. They pack at the top turn, top victory gets the inside run, tracking it along was Kleber King around the home turn top victory a half in front from Kleber King Raindrop Kid storming home along the fence and gets up to win a freak one Raindrop Kid wins from second Kleber King and third top victory close up Rita's World followed by a solid enemy Pug for me second last just a dancer Depose knocked up to run last all right it's a pretty close go there three seven of 15 meters a globe to the first turn. Brian Oliver gets to the rail. Smartpreneur goes on with it. Now eases looking for a trail. Regal Melvin from out deeps trying to work across. Cash bonus drives up behind the leader Lucoro in the centre. Cover eight caught deep as uh, Regal Melvin's going on with it up front. Bags of cash further back past midfield. Well out of it early is Wave and Michael Light well back and trapped deep. Then Achiever and Quick Admiral at the tail. Well Regal Melvin used up a bit of petrol but it's got to the lead now. Crosses by four metres in second placing. Brian Oliver, Smartpreneur found the rails running third, cash bonus moves up without cover, Lou Coro in the centre, three deep there, still cover rate, Achievers darted through along the inside but now runs into a dead end as they steady on top, in fact slow right up, bags of cash in the centre Mike Lights has been three deep throughout he quickly goes four wide around cover rate, well back then quick admiral although it's come deeper, down on the inside Achievers back to second last now and way van back to the tail, they went the first quarter in 29.5 so race down the straight, Regal Melvin the leader, Michael Ait moved up on the outside, got within a metre and a half Cash Bonus now has a trail Brian Oliver the inside, then Smartpreneur, Lou Coro back in the pack Quick Admiral went for a gallop, now in front of it was Cover Raid, bags of cash inside of it, down on the inside Achiever, well back then Wave Van but pulling wide and Quick Admiral gets going again at the tail, second quarter they slowed up to 33 seconds so this has been a stop start affair where the leader is Regal Melvin, Michael Ait almost on terms. Brian Oliver the inside. Wayvan's coming around the field very quickly. It's four wide though. Cash bonus under pressure. Wayvan got past Lou Coro. Then Achiever looking for a split. Wider out bags of cash and they're followed by Smartpreneur. Quick Admiral off the back straight. Wayvan out three deep. Moved up strongly. Got a couple of metres clear. He's inclined to just race a little bit greenly. Michael Ait battles away. So too does Regal Melvin. Then cash bonus. Further back in the field. Lou Coro. Achiever looking for a run, wide out bags of cash in the straight, Wave and got clear, led six or eight metres on Michael Aide, Lou Coro down the outside with bags of cash, cash bonus still there, but Wave and a strong win, Wave and wins seven metres, second placing goes to Michael Aide, three way go for third, might be cash bonus, but uh, both Lou Coro and bags of cash are in it, Achiever had no luck, then uh, Regal Melvin, Brian Oliver, cover Raider, well back Smartpreneur and Quick Admiral, it was also searching for runs in the straight, I don't think you'll find it finished last. I think you'll find it finished not that far from the place get as quick admiral. Okay, 10, 12 and 1 there. Possibly number 1 anyway. For th at this point we've got the dead heater at Albion Park between 1 and 8. 9, 6 and dead heat between 1 and 8. They're all set. Ready to go for the first Wentworth Park tonight. Racing. Brandy Brother missed it. Best out was Ballygo Beauty straight to the lead. November Earl's got the run through and November Earl goes to the lead from Ballygo Beauty settling. Falling Magic Mabel at the first corner. Going away was November Earl leads three lengths to Ballygo Beauty then Blue Gamble. Further back was Brandy Brother Vedante Lass and then a break in the field to My Impulse Blue Zammet and Magic Mabel. November Earl has got uh, a big lead on the corner. Out by six lengths Ballygo Beauty going to third Blue Gamble and Brandy Brother. November Earl well out in front and November Earl wins the 
the first brilliantly. Ballygo Beauty second, Blue Gamble third, then Brandy Brother. Behind them, Vedante last. A break in the field to My Impulse Blue Zaman and Magic Mabel. All right, so that's the story there. One for Bow, a brilliant return, heavily back to win race six. All set. Straight no ice in race five, the winner. All a dash won race four. Morvern Warrior won the third, Snack Pack in the second, and race one to Craft Memory. Set, racing in the last on the program. Away they go with Bold Admiral out the back door. Winning the start there, Tor and Rise, Quality Man. Ocean Action, our blockade, and It's a Jinx out wider. Settling down, Quality Man up on the inside to join. It's a Jinx out three wide, Tor and Rise in the middle. Behind him, Ocean Action, our blockade. Wolf Dancer wider, Wonder Wellington, Common Chiro Cheat. Wider out, Pleasure Hill down the side. Out in the shadows, very smart. Then Bell Turo, Whirly Star. They're followed by Spock, well back. And then Bold Admiral and Stylish Rhythm racing past the 500. It's a Jinx went to the lead. One tour and rise, Quality Man. Ocean Action, Wolf Dancer and Very Smart Wider. Our blockade and Wellington badly held up. Then Pleasure Hill, Bell Turo, Whirly Star, Common Chiro Cheetah. Ahead of Spock and Bold Admiral around the corner. It's a Jinx. Joined by Tor and Rise, Wellington getting the run now. And then Quality Man, our blockade, and very smart out wider. Here's a go, Wellington got to Tor and Rise. It's a jinx, followed by our blockade. Wellington went to the lead, and Wellington won by three quarters of a length. Tor and Rise second, it's a jinx's third. Our blockade fourth, and Spock flew wider. Behind him, what do we have? Bell Toro. Okay, 562 there, and Western Australia, let's take you to Victoria right now. Mooney Valley. Shot for the lead and will succeed. Working across now is Micheline making ground to be third, followed by Supreme Gent the rail, then deadly nightshade Kushla Bay. Three wide Southern Land on the fence out of the straight Carolina's Idol, followed by top coverage and Fiona's flare restrained. She's eight metres away last. Out of the straight they race towards the 2400 and the leader is Surgical Steel by eight metres to Rebel Shot. Third Micheline now dropping in on the rail. Fourth four metres away Supreme Gent. The first one, one off the fence, Kushla Bay fifth on its inside as Carolina's idol, then Sutherland with cover, although now Supreme Gent comes one off the fence to be fourth, sits up without cover, on the rail is top coverage, followed by Fiona's flare, and Deadly Nightshade dropped out to last, on the top turn towards the 2200 metres they race, the leader Surgical Steel by five metres to Rebel Shot, well tonight she's having a nice run with a drop on the leader, two metres away Supreme Gent working up closer on the outside without cover, on the rail and fourth is Micheline, then Kushla Bay, it has the one by one, one trailed up by Southern Land. Carolina's Idol races four back on the fence. Three metres away, Fiona's Flair. She is second last and four back on the outside of top coverage. As Supreme Jet on the outside, just for a stride, is now testing Surgical Steel and Deadly Nightshade eight metres away last. Two circuits out inside the 1850. It's Supreme Jet on the outside testing Surgical Steel. Four metres away, Rebel Shot. She's having a nice sit behind the leader. Micheline now works up to the one by one. As from fourth last now, Southern Land. He peels around the outside three wide towards the 1600. Up on the outside is Kushla Bay. On the fence is Carolina's Idol three back, trailed up by top coverage. Fiona's Flair. She's second last. She's biding a time and last on the rail is Deadly Nightshade. In the trot down the back of the lap and a half and Southern Land is off the track. He makes ground. He works up within two metres of Surgical Steel. Two metres away third Rebel Shot. Now Supreme Gent has the cover fourth. On the rail and fifth and two metres away Carolina Carolina's idol followed by Micheline. He travels up nicely, three back on the outside. On his back is Kushla Bay, followed by top coverage. Second last is Fiona's Flair towards the 1,050 metres. She's no more than about 20 metres off the lead and she hasn't spent a penny. And last on the rail is Deadly Nightshade. In the straight they race with a lap to go. The leader from the outset has been Surgical Steel. Still there by three and a half metres to Southern Land. On the rail, Rebel shot the outside Supreme Gent the fence and pulling pretty hard as Carol Carolina's idol, three metres to Micheline, then top coverage, who's pocketed four back on the rail, two metres to Kushla Bay, then Deadly Nightshade, and Fiona's flare two metres away last. Still 20 metres that cover the field at the 800 metres out of the race in the strain of, in the back straight. It's Surgical Steel by almost four metres, two on the outside, Southern Land. In the final, that rebel shot, still racing third with a beautiful run, followed by Supreme Gent, two metres to Carolina.
Carter's Idol. Mickelaine set a good run now, pulls to the outside. Top coverage comes one off the rail, followed by Kush Bay. Then Deadly Nightshade and Fiona's Flair. Towards the 4.50 they race. It's still Surgical Steel, giving a bold bit in front by five metres. Peeling around the outside now. Mickelaine out three wide, travels up into second placing. Under pressure of Southern Land. Rebel shot back on the rail, dropped the bit, followed by Supreme Gent. In behind them, Carolina's Idol, followed by top coverage, Kush Bay. Fiona's Flair is last and going for a gallop as Deadly Nightshade. In the straight of the 180, still Surgical Steel in front. Mickelaine gets it a second placing, trying hard. Then Supreme Gent running home quickly on the outside. He's coming home two to the one, Supreme Gent. Supreme Gent, he ranged up on the outside. He raced to the lead near the line. And Supreme Gent has won by five metres. Maybe Surgical Steel second. Possibly Carolina's Idol out wide third. A nose in front of Rebel shot. And running home was top coverage. Then Fiona's flare. She didn't fire. Followed by Deadly Nightshade. Weakening Mickelene from Southernland. And last in was Kush Bay. OK, one and a photo there at Mooney Valley. One and a photo. Supreme Gent now almost set at Penrith. As they uh, box them there. His rod. Moving in well for the third event. Last of the Greyhounds placed away. They're all set. Ready for start. And racing. Beginning badly was Lacey Bale. Winning the start was Pleasing Girl, but headed by Gracious Osti, who drives straight to the front. Over Pleasing Girl, trying to hold it out, but can't. Two lengths third was Avondale, followed by Sweet Holly and also Big Bad Janice. Four further back, Lacey Bale and last Kyle Lou Kalinda. Down the back straight, Gracious Osti, a length and a half in front. Pleasing Girl sticking on. Two lengths third was Avondale, followed next by uh, Big Bad Janice and also Sweet Holly to the home turn. Gracious Osti and Pleasing Girl. Pleasing Girl gets the better of Gracious Osti. Pleasing Girl race to the front. And Pleasing Girl for the money. Pleasing Girl beat either Big Bad Janice or Sweet Holly. Behind those, Gracious Osti, who knocked up from Avondale, Kyle Du Kalinda, and pulling up short last of all was Lacey Bale. Right, 1, 5 and 9, Penrith race 3, 1, 5 and 9. There, Pleasing Girl over Big Bad Janice and Sweet Holly. Take me easy on the inside. They're set. They're racing. And Serene Queen and Resilience fired out. Resilience is keen to lead Martin, driving her hard in the early part of the race, and she's got the fence. She crosses Serene Queen with Take Me Easy, settling third, and then Champagne Queen, followed further back by La Bella D on the outside of Radio, La Stace, Irresistible Me, and something extra back together at the tail of the field. Off the back the first time, Resilience is flying along in the lead, shows out by two lengths, Serene Queen content to sit behind the leader. A length and a half, Take Me Easy, and a length and a half, Champagne Queen, followed by La Bella D in Indian file order, as they come around the corner, last ace behind it, and then came Radio, something extra, and Irresistible Me drops down to the tail. The size stakes field makes its way down to the judge with two circuits left to go, and Martin has resilience going along nicely in the lead. She steadied up and led by a length and a half, Serene Queen having a lovely run on the leader's back. A length and a half, Take Me Easy in third spot, followed by Champagne Queen, and then Last Ace and La Bella D. Last Ace peels off the fence to go forward, being trailed up by Radio. Further back then to something extra, and Irresistible Me on its inside at the tail of the field. Heading into the back now, on towards the mile peg and Resilience the leader. Going along by a length and a half on Serene Queen, a length and a half, Take Me Easy. Two lengths further back than the Champagne Queen, no loafing in this. Followed further back by Last Stace. La Bella D is next over on the inside, a length further back to Radio. And then came Irresistible Me, and last of all is Something Extra. Heading on to the top corner. 1,400 metres left to go and Resilience makes play. A length and a half, Serene Queen. Hancock had a peep over the shoulder as Last Ace moves up a little bit closer on the outside. Take Me Easy is next on the fence as they start to close up on the leader. Followed by Radio and then Champagne Queen. A fair way back then to Irresistible Me and La Bella D has dropped back towards the tail with something extra. Into the straight, one circuit left to go. In the Carlton Sire stakes and the leader is Resilience by a length and a half. In second spot is Last Ace on the th fence running third is Serene Queen followed by Radio a length further back to Take Me Easy is in a zip fast in a pocket on Take Me Easy as they go by the judge a length further back on the outside to something extra going forward followed by Champagne Queen La Bella D and Irresistible Me drops to the tail Resilience leads them into the back after the bell about 7.50 to go by a length on last day Serene Queen's had a lovely run on the leader's back if he can get out off the fence a length further back on the outside is Radio followed by Take Me Easy and then came something extra here's La Bella D peeling out wide followed by Champagne Queen and Irresistible Me is two away at the tail of the field Heading on towards the top corner, 
400 metres left to go and he's still holding back on resilience. Head leads from Serene Queen. Last stace, Radio is making a big run on the outside and running a heck of a race followed by La Bella D. Take me easy behind those. At the 300, Martin had a peep and now he releases the brakes on resilience. And Serene Queen is off the fence if it's good enough. And here's Take Me Easy getting into the clear. They straighten up resilience in front. Serene Queen on the outside throwing down the challenge followed on the outside running on pretty well by Take Me Easy. Resilience is in front of Serene Queen. Take Me Easy on the outside trying to pick them up. Resilience is just in front. I think she just lasted. I think Resilience has just lasted to beat Serene Queen. Take Me Easy flew on the outside to make it very interesting. Followed by Champagne. Now, they just jumped at Albion Park. Here is Terry. Well, but the favourite Skinner's Regret went straight to the lead. Pleasant Fury second, Merchant Joe third, and Dreamy Guy drives through in the centre. From the clouds on the fence on the inside of Sammy Bye Bye and then Force One, Paragon Pete wide on the outside of Chief Scott and Bavarian Band drop back to the tate of the field. Skinner's Regret in front as they turn to the back in the 1700 metres mark. Leading by three quarters of a length over Pleasant Fury without cover. A length and a half to Merchant Joe and a half away dreamy guy finding the one out and one back from the clouds on the rail on the inside of sammy bye bye bavarian band snuck up on the fence a length to force one chiefs got second last and paragon pete went to the rail at the tail of the field first 500 meters took them 35.5 and skinner's regret shows the way at the 1350 leads by a half length to pleasant fury trapped in the breeze merchant joe third on the back of the leader dreamy guy fourth sweet seating around from from the clouds and Sammy Bye Bye's three back in the running lane. A length and a half to force one around Bavarian Band and the last pair are Paragon Pete and Chief Scott as they work down the stretch for the bell. 31.9, first split of the mile. Skinner's Regret in front of the judge around out. Leads by a half length of Pleasant Fury edging up a little closer to the leader. Merchant Joe third locked up on the rail. Dreamy Guy fourth on the back of Pleasant Fury. From the clouds buried on the fence inside of Sammy Bye Bye, then Bavarian Band and Force One. Paragon Pete second, last, and Chief Scott's a half length away at the tail. Skinner's Regret takes them to the back after the bell. 31.8 second quarter. Skinner's Regret a half in front of Pleasant Fury. Merchant Joe third, pinned on the fence by Dreamy Guy. From the clouds awkwardly placed, Sammy Bye Bye peeling and about to go. Force One tags him, then Bavarian Band, Paragon Pete and Chief Scott. Skinner's Regret a long neck in front of the 450. Pleasant Fury's under pressure to stay on terms. Merchant Joe got off the rail and came at the leaders. From the clouds needs an out. Bavarian Band got through in the centre and then Sammy Bye Bye. The favourites under pressure and Merchant Joe stormed to the lead. Merchant Joe shot a length in front at the top of the lane. Skinner's regret under the whip. Bavarian Band out and running on. Merchant Joe in front. Nutley went for home. Bavarian Band set sail after Merchant Joe but Merchant Joe's more than a length in front. Bavarian Band won't catch him and Joe wins. Merchant Joe. Merchant Joe beat Bavarian Band. Third toss of the coin. Sammy bye bye or Skinner's regret. Then Pleasant Fury. Paragon Pete. Dreamy Guy. From the clouds force one and Chief Scott was last of all. Number three Merchant Joe the winner and we'll check the minus for you in a moment. And you Lady Davgar came out okay, winning the start in the middle, Lady Geronimo through the middle, Glee Factor showing speed. Wide out, Bogan Breeze goes to second and up third was Miss Condrington. A length behind them, Sisso followed by Chosen Prince. Uh, further back on the outside, Lady Geronimo who lost its spot. Lady Davgar's next to last and worth travelling. Away with the lead, Glee Factor leads by five lengths. Second, Bogan Breeze. Sisso gets the rails run and then Chosen Prince and Miss Codrington. Glee Factor led, Sisso's wearing it down. Sisso goes to the lead near the line and Sisso's too good. Sisso gets up to beat Glee Factor. Chosen Prince third from his Codrington. Lady Geronimo. Lady Davgar never on the track from Worth Travelling and Bogan Breeze was last. OK, 4-3-2 there on that uh, second race from Sydney. 4-3 and Close two. to position. And yes, it is a start. 
Away pretty well on the inside was uh, Candyland, a ripple in the centre. Weona Kenny drives forward to the first turn. Illuminating is grabbing a trail in the early part. Ferguson on the inside, then Pacific Wonder. They're followed further back on settling by Trusa. Take the wrap has gone to the rails next. Wide gliders eased out of it. And so too is Casino Boy. Well, Weona Kenny goes on with the job and now finds the lead. So the favourite Weona Kenny has worked to the front five or six metres to Candyland. Ferguson is running third. A ripple is caught facing the bridge. Dropping to the rails, illuminating, and Pacific Wonder now moves up into the 1-1. One, one. Onto its back was Trusa, the inside take the wrap. Eight or ten metres away then to Wide Glide, and ten metres last of all was Casino Boy. Leaving the back straight, under two and a half laps to...